Man, the family of a man found murdered in his driveway now teaming up with the Arlington Police Department for a very public appeal. They want to know who killed the father of six last month. Our Jason Allen gets us underway reporting that investigators appear to have exhausted all of their leads. After coming home from work last month, Ali Ishmael would have said good morning to his wife and six kids and dropped off the older ones at school. But he never made it back inside to see his family dying from multiple gunshots in his own front yard. And aside from some blurry images of two men in the neighborhood at 5 a.m., police are no closer to figuring out what happened. This could be your son. This could be your father. This could be your husband, a nephew, um, a relative of yours. One of Ishmael's cousins said the family is still shocked, taking things one day at a time. And police are stumped, focused on two men on Ishmael Street who it appeared were looking for cars to burglarize. Uh, very seldom uh, do you see a property crime result in a violent crime such as this where someone loses their life. Police have gone door to door, handing out flyers, looking for more videos. They've gone as far as to want to find this man as well, seen pulling on a car door handle about two miles away, three hours before the shooting. But to this point, there hasn't been enough for them to even interview a person of interest in the killing. It's really horrific. Um, you can imagine how the family is feeling. Uh, the loss of the father, the breadwinner, uh, you know, a husband, and uh, he was everything to them. It isn't just police and the family. There has also been a $10,000 reward that's being offered, Doug. That's from Oak Farms Dairy. It's for any information that leads to an arrest or a conviction in this case. So let me ask you this, though. The blurry images that we reported on day number two, I think, right after it happened and, and you had in the piece right there, you and I have both covered enough of these to know that one good image, one good piece of video can make all the difference. Do you know if the department, regarding police department, uh, if they have any other videos, any other images, but they haven't put them out there publicly yet? Yeah, I, I asked them about that, and there are some other images out there. However, they haven't put them out because they don't think that they're really going to be helpful. They, you might see somebody up in the in the uh, the corner of a screen, or maybe some of those videos are in black and white. They also, Doug, they they don't have any eyewitnesses as well to this right now either. But this this happened at five in the morning. They know that at that time in the morning there are some people up. They're headed to work. They're headed to the gym. So they're also asking anybody who might have been up around that time to think about who they might have seen walking around, some, some information that might be helpful in this case. Our Jason Allen with the update in Arlington Forest. Jason, thanks so much.